DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. We installed a while ago a brush guard on our truck. It's the Weston Sportsman brush guard, I believe is the actual one that we have. It comes with the winch tray on it. Um, bad thing about the installation of that brush guard, as much as I do like it, is you have to remove your your factory tow hooks. So what we did to um, is we ordered some of the West End tow hooks for the actual winch tray itself. So we got both of them in today. We're going to open that up and we're going to install them. Should be pretty easy, pretty simple to do. Uh, we'll show you what comes in the package here. It looks like the, so it's the max tow hook mounts directly to the max winch tray has a three-year warranty, mild steel, black powder coated, molded steel, uh, sold separately. So that is a big thing. I did have to buy two of these. They do not come in pairs. Um, so when you're ordering them, uh, be, be, be very careful with that. I believe that the part number here that is in the box is 46-3005, black tow hook from Weston. So we just ordered these on Amazon. recommended is we looked for the actual brush guard on Amazon. We couldn't get it to ship to Alaska so we had to go through a local dealer but uh, I guess it knew what we were looking for. So this is all that comes in the box right here. So there's the instructions right here. There's this little bag of components. It has a uh, hex key and some bolts in here and some nuts and a few washers so it should be pretty easy to install it's pretty similar to the rest of the of the thing and then the actual instructions here is a few different I don't know, so it has it in a different language and then we have this one so you do have uh, some pretty easy pictures and everything, and it should be super easy to do anyway. I don't see anything difficult about this one. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I'll show you this actual tow hook, and we'll take it out and we'll start putting it on the tray. So this is this is it. This is a pretty significant uh, welding. Looks to be pretty good. It is coated. Um, black coating all the way around this is this is pretty heavy it's pretty pretty solid uh, just like the rest of the actual brush guard itself i really like this brush guard that we have on the truck uh, very solid we had it torqued down to the proper specifications and everything so if i grab it it'll move the whole dang truck so same thing with this this is a very solid piece right here uh very good so we'll go ahead and get it installed on our winch tray now Okay, so we have the tow hooks installed here. So these are the bolts that actually came with it. They have these bolt heads right here. Um, so these are the ones that actually came with the hook when we got it. This one is one that was already on here that was part of the tray already. So this bolt goes all the way down into the actual supports that go into the truck. So we had to keep that one because come underneath, you can see uh, we're almost out of the bolt right there so the threading is almost gone and these bolts are actually longer than the other one was okay so this is all the the nuts on the bottom here and you can see my finger actually goes in this one so the bolt is not very long it doesn't even go to the end of this nut and it's the same on this one so these are the two that actually came with it and I was okay with that on those because those just support the hook. But where this one actually goes into this uh, support beam, I wanted to make sure that we had a longer bolt. That way we'd have better coverage and it would be stronger. So I went ahead and I left the original bolt in here, which is the same process as everything else. It's the nut, the locking washer, the washer, and then the bolt just feeds right on through. So it was a very easy installation. 
very easy installation you can see it's the Weston this is the sportsman grill right here with the winch tray um, I'll go ahead and give it a tug here and I can really pull the truck and they're very sturdy so that we have that one on that side and then on this side we have another one so we do have both of them installed it's the same on both sides so two of the ones two of the bolts that came with it and then we left the original one that's actually into the frame so um, overall looks really good I think so that's kind of backed out that's the look of it and we have the winch installed in there too um, so if you have any questions just let us know leave any comments if anybody else has questions and I haven't got to them and answered them please go ahead and feel free to answer them yourself if you haven't subscribed please do so we have a lot of videos that we're trying to post right now and uh, if you have anything that you want us to do you can go ahead and drop a comment down below as well and I'll see if I can get that project done for you have a great day DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself.